In the past 100 years, many transformations took place here in Hong Kong. In the year of 1911, one critical transformation was the birth of the University of Hong Kong. In the same year, the Faculty of Engineering was also one of the founding faculty. It was, I think, the mission of the university to uh, create the future leaders for this region and within the faculty of engineering is to create the engineering leaders to help develop and help build uh, this place to what it is today, which is an international global city. We have a vibrant both teaching uh, environment as well as a strong global research environment. The Multimedia Networking Lab at the University of Hong Kong was established to focus our research efforts in the core technologies and applications of information technologies. Uh, for example, uh, we have recently been applying IT to the generation and delivery of electric power, and thereby we have something called Smart Grid. And hopefully this will uh, allow us to have more renewable energy in a power grid, and therefore help solve some of the uh, climate change problem due to global warming. My research team uh, in the electrical and electronic engineering uh, is developing a new concept called electric spring. It is a new technology that can stabilize a future power system because uh, we are using more wind and solar energy and they have changing nature. So uh, it is necessary for us to stabilize the uh, wind power and solar power. So we have come up with this new solution. The electric spring is an electrical version of the mechanical spring and they are very simple, they can work individually but collectively they provide a highly robust support. Here at the HKU, the um, uh, Biomedical Engineering Program, we have colleagues working on MRI, including myself, and the colleagues working on ultra-high-speed optical imaging microstructural ultrasonic imaging, computational neuroscience, and tissue engineering and biomaterials. Biomedical uh, engineering as research is highly interdisciplinary. Uh, we work closely with peers around the world. We also collaborate widely with members from the Faculty of Medicine here, which is probably one of the best and the most comprehensive medical school here in Asia. At Hong Kong U, we have been teaching and doing research on environmental engineering for 30 years. We teach students how to apply engineering principles to monitor and to clean up our environment and to assess the environmental impact of engineering projects. And our research covers a wide range of challenging environmental subjects that include regional climate change, pollution monitoring, pollution control, and resource recovery. And we are one of the pioneers in the world to apply the microscopic technology uh, for the environmental engineering subject. Another area that we feel is ex extremely important as it's a wave coming uh, technologically around the world is robotics. In this laboratory we're working with the world's most advanced robotic hardware and software to push the boundaries of robot capability. We have a multidisciplinary team of students, faculty, and staff uh, working together across boundaries to try to make tomorrow's intelligent machines. Our faculty do encourage innovative and interactive learning um, by incorporating project-based experience. Our students have to spend at least a summer attached to companies and organizations. This enhances their learning in their own profession, uh, links textbook to real life, and this really helps them to develop their own career. Over these hundred uh, years, we've graduated 20,000 engineers, and these uh, individuals have been really integral in the development of Hong Kong. Hong Kong U is an absolutely great place to get an education. The school's reputation not only attracts first-rate faculty, but also its students, creating a diverse, engaging, 
and fun learning environment. We have a long legacy being now uh, 101 years old. Uh, and we have been intertwined in the development of Hong Kong uh, to what it is today, a vibrant global uh, city on the world stage.